Hi, I'm Mike from Winnipeg. I just came from the camp out for 10 or 15 and the same for Aboriginal women. And I just want to give a shout out to the people that are there. And um, I worked for uh, two different group homes in the city of Winnipeg when I first hurt my back. Um, and I just, before I get into it, I just want to also my back again. Um, I want to see how Aboriginal people were being treated by the system and uh, I noticed there are a lot of really good uh, people um, that work in the group homes who give their lives to uh, those, those people and uh, to the Winnipeg Police Services, the men and women, uh, same thing. Um, there's also racism, uh, people that just want a job children who enter the workforce at a low wage and are just interested in psychology and analyzing people and um, disciplining the children. Their mindset is on uh, giving timeouts and uh, slapping the kids who are in their back with, with, um, with um, status I just saw on the news a uh, conservative member of parliament saying we have programs for these people so that they can help themselves. Now hang on a second. Okay, I just want to point out that uh, we have treaties with the federal government, uh, nation to nation, and the federal government has responsibilities there. Now the problem is political, I just want to put it in a nutshell. federal government has treaties nation to nation. CFS is run by the provincial government. Uh, the Winnipeg Police Services is run by the city of Winnipeg. And the taxpayers of the city of Winnipeg have their priorities. Uh, the people that are elected uh, have their priorities. The Winnipeg Police have domestic disputes between white people, people of color, Aboriginal people, Métis people, what, whatever, the taxpayers. But the uh, Aboriginal people, the kids, are not a priority. Uh, so I believe the federal government has a responsibility uh, to make sure. Uh, I, so when, I, when you work nights in a group home, you have a number that you call when kids go AWOL, and the word AWOL was used on the news. Now, uh, uh, the police are aware of it. They're out there doing there's nobody, um, the Knowles Center actually has a person that's employed to go and to uh, look for these kids, but that person is a youth worker, they're not a qualified police officer. Now, uh, what I want to say is that we could have plainclothes police officers in the area designated to make sure that the, the kids are safe, 
Now, we, we know within a few blocks of the West End is, is where they go, off in the group homes. So, uh, Tina's sister on the CBC News was saying, my sister's here in this area. She always works the same place. Well, this kind of information uh, should be, uh, the, the police should be in contact with the Knowles Center, with Marymount, with New Directions, with the group homes, uh, and then they should they should they should be aware and have pictures of the girls before they go AWOL. The ones that are known to go AWOL to go to these places, there should be designated police officers in plain clothes roaming these streets. Uh, when I was a youth worker, I'm a youth worker. I can't go following these girls around. And so the police could uh, watch, watch the areas, note what, when they see these girls, they can watch the girls, make sure they're safe. When an adult comes along, that's obviously going to pay them for sex, follow them, follow them to where they go, arrest that person, uh, or at least keep, keep the girl safe and uh, make sure uh, nothing bad happens there. This is a minor going into uh, a house with an adult. Uh, now, I know there are political uh, things that the police will probably say they can't do that or whatever, but I just want to point out, as this is in the news and there's talk about inquiries, and let the inquiries go on, I support that. Um, but I just want to point out that there's a problem right there know where it is, and there are a lot of frustrated people that want to help, why can't we do this? If there's an inquiry that costs millions and millions of dollars, this should come up. If it doesn't, who did the inquiry? And um, that's the main point I want to make, is there's a lot of talk about resources. The city of Winnipeg doesn't get a return back for finding missing uh, Aboriginal young girls. Suppose enough, but uh, Prime Minister Harper has to uh, uh, look at the situation. There, there needs to be funding, in my view, for specifically designated just to to um, go above the City of Winnipeg budget, so that the, the City of Winnipeg can have police officers that are designated to, to watch over those kids who are a while who go to the same places all the time. Uh, the, 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 the young men who are stealing cars and whatnot, um, uh, the same kinds of things can be done there. Uh, again, we often know where they are and uh, what they're doing and who they're with, and um, uh, it's it gets lost in the system, it gets lost in translation, and that's just what I want to point out. And um, just a shout out to uh, the people uh, that are camping out or bringing to this issue and uh, to the good men and women of the group homes in the city of Winnipeg and the Winnipeg Police Services. Um, and uh, yeah, so I just want to point out that there that's where the issues are a lot of the time and I 